<laughs> Lydia Daydal, Fight Connect TV, backstage at Akuma FC in Belfast with newly victorious professional MMA fighter Reese McGee. Well, we meet again. Yeah, another show, uh, another another fight done two yeah. weeks ago. So here we are, cornering the lads, and it's another good day at Akuma. Back to you. Always. What what is that like? Like literally, you 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 train hard, you get yourself mentally, physically prepared for a fight like what you just had on Cage Warriors, and then. You get the win and you're back to normal and you're cornering fights yeah. in the Europa in Belfast. I love it. Listen, there's no uh, there's no escape in helping the lads and you know there's always something to do around the gym and I play a big part in the gym and that's something I'm happy to do and so that involves cornering the younger lads and here yeah. I am. So yeah, so here good. you are. Well Let's good, talk yeah. about obviously before we talk about today um, another impressive win. Like come on, like what is well we know what's going on. But I read some press on you before the fight, or maybe it was uh, it was after the fight. But you were saying that anything other than what was the quote? A show, spectacle. A spectacle. Always a spectacle. Anything yeah. less than a spectacle, you won't be happy with. But you, you've done it again. Yeah, you know, I feel like at this stage of my career, I deserve the spectacle performances. Yeah. I feel like I'm higher level than a lot of the opponents to fight. So anything short of a spectacle would have been a disappointment. And um, 56 seconds said that, or 63 seconds, whatever it was. It said a spectacle, so I'm happy with it. And uh, mm. you know, I had that fight with Perry Goodwin. Yeah. It wasn't a spectacle; it was a, a dog fight, and that made me kind of wise up a bit and stop mm. taking as many shots. Yeah, it, it's interesting, right? Because um, like our viewers that will watch this, they'll they love the dog fight. They want to see, you know, oh, right. a few points on them on a Saturday night, and they want to sit down and watch yeah. a fight, and they want to see a dog fight. But there's a lot more that goes into it in terms of being intelligent and having to have your game plan. And, you know, obviously your career is on the line as well. Well, I was 23 when I had that dog fight. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's too young to be having them type of fights. Yeah. It takes years off your career. Uh, as, as well as that, like, I... I you know, I, I'm a functioning adult as well. I have stuff to do during the week, and <laughs> you know, I couldn't even I couldn't even walk about. I was limping. I had crutches mm. for two weeks of it, so it's just not smart. Like I, I want to be productive every day of my life, and being injured is not the way to do it. And yeah. especially walking about like a panda for for a week and a half. So, listen, I just deserve the clean performances and the spectacles, mm. and here we are. Here we are. But well, we're here again, and the same conversation has been is happening on the internet at the shows like this is when is Reese McKee going to the UFC yeah it's good to be in that conversation isn't yeah. it it's a hell of a good conversation we've been having it for a while though you know what like, I think people um, I'm going to say this because people know I'm bound there like it's mm -hmm. where I'll end up it's where I, who's going to be paying my wages soon enough so yeah. it's never been a question of if it's been a question of when and here we are I don't think we're too far at all you know they're they're coming to March in London or they're coming to London in March uh, if I don't get that call, uh, I'll definitely be there before the end of next year. Mm -hmm. Is it a case for you in that you know it's coming so that you kind of get to relax a little bit in yourself? You're, you don't have this kind of pent up like, w oh, will I get there? When is it going to happen? You're just like, I know it's going to happen. So I'm just enjoying the, the journey. Listen, I don't stress. I don't stress. No, you don't. I don't stress over anything. <laughs> uh, I know I'll get there. I know I'm good enough. I know my performances will show. So I just need the right opponents. And uh, I, know, I know I'll be there. I'll be wearing them gloves. So. There's no point worrying, is there? Absolutely not. No. In terms of opponents and in terms of the kind of strategy that you've taken in your career, we'll say, from amateur, because, I mean, we know each other so long. Uh, uh, like, since you're an amateur, seeing seen you take your first pro debut on Bama the whole way up. There's so many people, so many fighters that get it wrong, whether it's wrong fights, wrong promotions, wrong attitude, wrong branding. You seem to have just gone by the book and like ticked every checklist. Like, what is that? Just because it's you, or because you have the team around you? Like, what what has it been? I know. To be honest, I'm just winging it. Like, I'm still winging it every day. I meant to say that. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, w I wish I could. I wish I had some book at home that was a blueprint of what yeah. to do. But there's not. You know, I'm just doing me and and uh, I think that is checking every box and again that's another reason why I'm UFC bound and yeah. not just UFC bound but like top of the world bound you know I want to be known as one of the greatest ever out of this mm -hmm. country so it's a big part for me and yeah. it's something I'm excited to do. Mm. There's been a lot like obviously you would have seen online over the last couple of weeks the kind of back and forth with different fighters about Bellator, Cage Warriors, UFC. Have you weighed in on any of that or are you just like you know I mean I think it's kind of interesting right because for a while there, everything was kind of gone stagnant and it's kind of like, you know, let's have these conversations yeah, and yeah. let's have a little bit of banter online, you know? You know, well, I've, I've always been vocal about Bellator. Like, if people want to go to Bellator and make money, go do it. Yeah. 
yeah. if I want to go to Cage Wars, not make maybe as much money, but reach the UFC, then let me do it. Like, yeah. it doesn't really, like, you know, I've seen Ian and Aaron Chalmers having words, and they were just saying the same thing. Yeah. Like, Aaron was saying, but people can go to Bellator and earn more money. They can, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And Ian was saying, but we want to go to UFC. That's fine, we can. Yeah. So, everybody just needs to get on with what they're doing, and, mm -hmm. you know, I don't disagree with either of what them, them lads were saying, because I agree with both points, but... Yeah. We're all just saying the same thing, like, you know, uh, if people want to do what they want to do, then let them do it. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. Simple. It's, Simple. Real, it's black and white, you know. Yeah. Uh, I know where I'm going, and, and that's the only thing I really care about. Yeah. Well, listen, we're all very excited for when that happens. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see the tweet or the call or the text or whatever it is to say that you got it. So, um, do we, obviously, you're at uh, Cage Warriors next year. When's the next date? Uh, I think, well, and they have a load of shows booked. Uh, they're coming to London in March, yeah. there, and then they'll be back in Belfast in May, yeah. which I plan to be a massive part of that show. Yeah. Uh, Surely you'd have to be a main event or co-main of that show. I'll take nothing less than main event, and yeah. that's just, if you call it selfish if you want, but I've earned that role, so anything short of main event, I'll not be there. Um, and I hope that would be my send-off party, if not sooner. Uh, well, listen, in terms of your career, and like it has been sort of like a storybook, chapter to chapter, it's gone from strength to strength. I know that's so cliche, but it actually has. So it really would be the perfect sort of ending on it, right? Listen, you know what? Like They're coming to London in March, and that would be amazing and fantastic. But if I got my send-off party in May, that would be like what dreams are made of. So It's your birthday in May, is that? It's not it's September. There's your first mistake. <laughs> you need Blooper. A you need a <laughs> blooper for the video. <laughs> <laughs> you need a blooper in the video. No, but... Uh, <laughs> It absolutely would be perfect. And, you know, I think I have a story that everybody's connected to a few yes. chapters in it. So I think yeah. what's a bit different with me to everybody else, I don't really have anybody in the country saying, no, nah, Reese isn't this or he's a bit of a this. And yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm just a, a people of the people and yeah. I'm doing it for everyone. You are really very much yeah. well liked by people, aren't you? But, like, that's not me being fake or a person. I'm just, I'm just doing me. Yeah. And if people like it, they like it. Luckily, they do. Yeah. If they hated it, I, I'd, be a bit, I'd be in trouble, wouldn't I? So, yeah. uh Listen, I'm just doing my own thing. Good stuff. We'll be there soon. Absolutely. Well, listen, I'll let you get back to corner. And thank you very Super. much, you as very always, Reese McKee for Fight Connect TV. Super.